before the rest of today. Here's where that maybe freezing drizzle comes into play and then we'll push everyone to have temperatures in the lower to mid 30s, keeping those mostly cloudy conditions and breezy winds that will only continue to get a little bit stronger as we go into the afternoon and evening, mostly out of the south. As the day goes on, we can see wind gusts upwards of 25, 30 miles per hour, still keeping those winds strong through the overnight and into the day tomorrow. We're waiting on the cold front of that clipper system behind that that's where that arctic air is living and it will push in throughout the day tomorrow with these uh, continued breezy winds and of course drop our temperatures back so overnight we could see a little bit of wintry mix as temperatures don't really drop this is the bell curve i was talking about as we peak with our temperatures overnight and early tomorrow morning before we drop off with the introduction of that arctic air so here's a little bit of that wintry mix chance a light drizzle a light snow that's going to be around for the early morning hours tomorrow then we'll take a break we'll be mostly cloudy but we'll have that break. Once we get into the afternoon, this is when we're going to start to switch over to lake effect snow showers with the introduction of the Arctic air behind that front. And these lake effect snow showers continue for the second half of Wednesday, all through the overnight and into Thursday. We will slowly shut these off on Thursday and between Wednesday and Thursday, we could gain a good one to three inches of snowfall, maybe a little bit higher in some locations. It all depends on how quickly this shuts off on Thursday. Thursday. Here's the next couple of days though. 36 degrees tomorrow. It's going to happen early and then temperatures will fall. As we take a look at the upper levels of the atmosphere, you can see this is tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. We're still on the warmer side, but then watch how quickly those blues and purples pull into West Michigan and leave us now with this Arctic air and putting our daytime high temperatures in the teens for tomorrow and really then for the rest of the week. So only 18 degrees on Thursday, 20 degrees on Friday. We do take a break, bring in some sunshine on Friday before more snow chances do arrive for the weekend, both Saturday and Sunday, even continuing into next Monday with 20 degrees.